Hello everyone, it's Mokozonki, and in this guide I'm going to be showing you how to slay skeletal wyverns. Now a lot of people don't like skeletal wyverns because they hit for a lot of damage, and people have the misconception that you have to be using a shield while killing them, which would make the kills quite a bit slower than other slayer tasks. However, uh, they can be easily killed. I'm going to be showing you guys how. Skeletal wyverns are also an extremely rewarding task. They yield 110k slayer XP per hour, and also 105k summoning XP per hour. So in my opinion, they're very, very worth doing because the XP is so good. Also, if you have a yak, you can bank the bones with that, and that will yield about 5.3k per bone, which it makes it about 1.5 mil cash per hour as well. So you will be getting a lot of crimsons during this task. Um, skeletal wyverns have about a 60% drop rate for crimsons, and they drop two at a time, so you're going to be getting a lot of crimsons, which is the reason why this task is so good for summoning XP. Skeletal wyverns are also very, very easy to kill once you get the hang of it, and um, it's not really too difficult to get the hang of it either. There's not a whole lot of complicated steps involved. So we're going to jump right into the gear and the inventory setup that you're going to need to kill the skeletal wyverns. So of course have your full Slayer helmet equipped for the Slayer bonus, and I'm wearing my Ceridoman cape because I can no longer wear my Max cape and also subjugation robes which are pretty good for magic you can also wear arms that have slightly better defense and then for boots and gloves i have ganodermic boots and gloves which work pretty well i have a sixth age, age circuit or you can also wear a seer's ring which uh, does pretty well for mage as well and a chaotic staff i would highly recommend either a chaotic staff or a virtus one book if you really don't like dungeoneering however um, one of those is going to help a lot if you don't have either, uh, bring a Staff of Light instead. And then for your necklace, uh, an Arcane Stream has the highest magical critical in the game, so that's pretty good. Um, you can also bring a Glory. If you don't have a Yak and you really don't want to spend extra time banking the bones, you can always bring a Demon Horn Necklace and a Bone Crusher, which will give you extra prayer. But it's not that big of a deal just to bring prayer pots. So in my inventory, I have Ring of Slain, Vecna Skull, um, if you don't want to bring a Vecna Skull, bring an Extreme Magic Potion or something like that. And then uh, Prayer Potions and Food. Um, this is one of the few tasks that you definitely need to take food for because you're going to be taking a fair amount of damage, not really a lot. Uh, four Sharks is probably enough to get me through the whole task. And then uh, a Fire Spell, so I brought Runes for Fire Surge. A, the Taco Zo to Bank and the Charming Nymph to Collect Charms. And uh, in my yak, I have more prayer potions and more sharks, just in case, although I most likely will not need these sharks. So the easiest way to get there is through a fairy ring. Once you get to the fairy ring, you want to punch in the code AIQ, which is uh, takes you to Mudskip Point, which is very close to the dungeon. Alternatively, if you don't have access to fairy rings, you can always use the Port Serem Lodestone and then just run straight south, and that will get you there pretty quickly as well and just make sure you have your uh, fire spell active and climb down into the dungeon and the skeletal wyverns are in the far southeast of the dungeon in a little area of their own so they're pretty close to the frost dragon entrance just a bit southeast of there so just proceed through the dungeon and uh, get to frost dragons however you please so here's the entrance to skeletal wyverns don't worry going in here because they are not aggressive so they're not going to automatically attack you if they were aggressive, this task would be pretty much impossible, but since they're not, it's not a big deal. So, the Skeletal Wyverns do have an Icy Breath attack that can hit up to 2,500. However, if you are using Mage, you can stand at a long distance and attack them, and you won't be hit by the Icy Breath as long as you are the farthest distance away from them that is possible. So that basically means if you click to attack a Skeletal Wyvern, your character will run toward it and be the farthest distance away possible. This is not as complicated as it seems. It's quite easy. You just want to click on skeletal wyverns that are just outside of your range of magic attack and just click on them and start spamming abilities. And that's really just how easy it is. Um, you saw I killed that one pretty fast and they give over 500 Slayer XP per kill, so that's very good. And that one did not drop crimsons, but um, more, often than it, more often than not they do. So. You can expect to get a ton of crimsons through this task, which is extremely helpful. Um, they do drop a visage as well, but you're most likely not going to get one of those. Um, what's really more to look out for is just the skeletal wyvern bones that they drop on every single kill. Um, so just either bank those with your pack yak, or if you don't have a pack yak and you still want to make money, um, just put them in a war tortoise or something like that, 
and then run them to the bank. It doesn't take too long to get back here, so it's not a big deal if you really want to do that. And then just proceed killing the skeletal wyverns. Anyway, I would highly recommend doing this task. I know a lot of people have it on their block lists. I would recommend against that personally, just because I feel like this task is extremely worth doing. Anyway, um, thanks for watching this guide. Feel free to stay tuned for many more Slayer guides coming in the near future, and I hope this helped you out. Farewell.